incident that occurred here at the Ventel Tower raised awareness about uh, dangers in the construction industry. And that led to significant changes over the years. And it resulted in healthier and safer practices in the construction industry. So we saw improvements for construction workers after workers died. We saw the same thing in mills when, as a result of not one but two mill explosions, uh, led to better practices in cleaning up dust in mills. But here's my challenge to all of us. Let's make these kinds of changes. Let's make our workplaces healthier and safer before people die. The memorial is a pretty special place in my heart. Um, I was working on the building um, three weeks prior to the accident taking place and just moved around the corner to another building uh, on that day. And I remember it crystal clear. You know, by the end of the day, uh, the whole construction sector throughout the Lower Mainland was talking about the tragedy. Uh, not that I knew the individuals personally, but I can tell you that it devastated the industry. Um, you know, that loss of life of four workers all in one day and a tragic accident, you know, falling from the top of a building was traumatic to all of us. So it's a pretty special day and I'm certainly glad that we're here every year doing this. And I, um, I'm more than special, I especially appreciate the family of those members um, that we lost that day still coming and still asking us to do this. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, a very special day in my heart. But standing here today also serves us a sad reminder. Because more than three decades later, while the Bentall Tower continued to tower in downtown Skyline, it also continues to be a monument to the four construction workers that tragically died thereon January 7, 1987, 1981. Four men came to work, went to 36th floor, but they never made it back. At the end of the day, they never went home. Every anniversary, uh, we've remembered in some ways. For the last uh, 10 or 15 years, it's been in a very public way that we remember. And it's a reminder for all of us that are working in the construction industry, whether we're, you know, uh, working in the leadership of, of, uh, of, of the trade union movement, whether they're the contractors or whether they're work workers on the tools. It's a reminder for all of us to be safe. This is an industry that has an ever-changing work environment and you've got to be constantly vigilant of your work environment otherwise you could expose yourself to um, an unsafe practice so we want to make certain that workers are very much aware we want to make certain that contractors are very much aware and that the leadership is aware so this is a good reminder at in the first week of the year to come together and remember the four that died but also know that we have an obligation to do everything that we can to protect those who are still on the tools. For us, we take the opportunity to remember, to think about how it affects our particular circumstances, um, but it's also an opportunity, an opportunity for us to take action, to make sure that uh, the future is better, that we don't have the next 37 years having another thousand deaths, and these things, as you said, are preventable. The city of Vancouver is a growing city. We have record years of construction. I'm very proud of this fact. And uh, Too often, I think, we focus on the built form rather than how it was achieved. And I think that uh, much is owed to the workers uh, that helped to build our city. Today is an opportunity for us to remember that in order for us to have a great city, a green city, that we must, in fact, remember to make sure that the people that helped to build it get the chance to go home as well. I did not know these workers. I wasn't working for WorkSafe BC in 1981, uh, but coming here year after year and, and having the, the, the opportunity to speak and, and listen to others, it, it has become personal. And I sort of uh, very much cherish marking my year with this particular event, as, as corny as it may sound, but it allows me to focus and set the stage for the year. Uh, remembering what seriously can go wrong when events like this occur on work sites.